postpartum depression was the most awful thing, the most awful illness that I had ever gone through. I feel like I was so excited trying to have him and, you know, and then being pregnant and now I just feel like I could take it or leave it. I, I don't even really want him around. I began to have scary thoughts about hurting the baby. These feelings are common for women who suffer from postpartum depression, like former New Jersey First Lady Mary Jo Cody and mom of three, Thedra Perez. Of the women who give birth, um, approximately 10 to 18 percent, depending on risk factors, can suffer from the actual clinical depression. For Thedra, the symptoms didn't start until about a month after she gave birth to her oldest son, Stephen. I was thinking that I was a bad mom. You know, how could I, I feel this way? This was something that I was looking forward to, and I just felt like a horrible person, horrible mother, horrible wife, you know, everything. I kind of just did the basic things like the feeding and the changing, but as far as um, bonding with him and wanting to, you know, do the things that first time mothers do, like look in and check on him and watch him sleep, I really didn't want to do any of that. And uh, the big thing for me was probably a lot of the crying. I started crying constantly, morning till night it seemed like. Thedra said she hid those symptoms from her husband, locking herself in the bathroom to cry. Finally, you know, he caught me off guard one day and he saw, and I, I, he basically just said he would kind of go along with me, whatever would make me happy, but you know, in the back of his head, I, I know that he thought I needed help, obviously. After Thedra's husband went back to work, her mom helped her care for Stephen, and it wasn't long before she found out how Thedra was feeling. My mom was over and, you know, and I just, cried, I just burst out in tears, and then she had actually said, you need to get help. I had extensive therapy, which consisted of therapy sessions about, um, I would say about 45 minutes, three, four days a week. Even at the sessions that I went to, sometimes I would just cry. It took about nine months after starting antidepressants for Thedra to feel better. For Mary Jo Cody, the wait was even longer. I began to have scary thoughts about hurting the baby. And the psychiatrist, you know, told me that was called intrusive thoughts. I couldn't take anymore. I'd had them all day and all night. And I finally, after a month of that, gave the baby to my husband and said, um, I'm going into a psychiatric hospital for life because I lost myself when I had the baby and I can't find myself anymore. I was there for a month and I came out as depressed as I was when I went in. After a year, the psychiatrist said she's switching me to a different type of antidepressant called an MAO inhibitor. And I knew it was working was because I would be giving Kevin a bath and I would only have a scary thought about drowning him once. And then days went by and I didn't have any scary thoughts all day long. So I, I came out of it. I mean, that was wonderful for me. I started pushing him on the swings in the park and I could be a real mom after a year of, of hell. Both women suffered through PPD again with their second pregnancies. Kathy Mahoney from Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey, says the feelings these women felt are typical postpartum depression symptoms. Feeling very sad, um, too sad to get up in the morning, too sad to eat, too sad to take care of the baby. Not the occasional looking out the window and saying, I'm really sad that it's raining, or, you know, I really wish the baby had more hair. Anxiety has been recognized as a hallmark kind of a symptom that everything makes them anxious. Feelings of utter and complete fatigue, unable to get out of the bed in the morning, losing interest in basic activities of daily living. PPD is different and more serious than the baby blues. Up to 85% of women can suffer from the baby blues. It's kind of crying, feeling sad, maybe a little bit let down. Pretty self-limiting. Um, it may only last for 10 days or two weeks. If you're not sure what category your symptoms fall in, call your provider, call your obstetrician. You can even call your pediatrician because they've all been educated to recognize the signs of postpartum depression and to know what to do. So that even if someone presented to the office and said, I'm really feeling you know, horrible and I'm, I'm afraid I have postpartum depression, they told me about that in the hospital, they can call the hospital, call their contact people and say, can you help me, I don't really remember, or they can go to the website or they can call the warm line. The warm line Kathy talks about is part of the program Speak Up When You're Down. Speak Up When You're Down was introduced when my husband became the governor. 
because he wanted to be an advocate for postpartum depression too because he went through hell. New Jersey is also the only state that requires hospitals to screen for PPD. New Jersey's um, program is actually education, screening, and referral. Every hospital is required to screen, not diagnose, but screen women for postpartum depression. Oh, she has her blanket, right. Kathy she says she has no doctor. doubt the program is working. We had um, a patient who came into our um, emergency room uh, carrying a woman. He was about 21 years old and the woman was 19. He told us in Spanish when they went home with their baby who was three weeks old that they were told postpartum depression was a risk and these were the symptoms that might happen and that if this happened that it was an emergency and he needed to get her help and he listened and this woman had immediately almost become almost catatonic, unable to um, care for the baby. Her family was there, and this was something that happened in her family all the time. They didn't think there was anything wrong with it. And he finally stood up to her mother and her grandmother and her aunt and picked her up and carried her into the emergency room. That to me says the education worked. She got the help she needed. She got her antidepressants. And she came to see us when that baby was a year old and she was so happy with herself as a mother. And what a success story. That's what the program is all about. Go ahead, Stephen, you turn. Despite the rough start, both moms say they now have a strong bond with their children. We're tight. But you never, you never really forgive yourself or you never really get over missing that first year. How about a kiss too? Kiss, kiss. Love you. Yes. They're my heart. I know that I didn't do anything wrong, and I know that I was a good mother, but um, I, I still feel like I, I lost so much time with them. You know? I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so I feel like I lost a lot of time, so I try, to, I try to make up a lot of the time with them, but I love them. Thank you.